Good evening, everyone. This is Atticus from The Complete Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to hold strong. Ethereum continues to close above all the key daily and weekly moving averages. As stated in previous videos, the target of this ascending triangle pattern is at $4,600. Now, if you take a look at yesterday's Bitcoin video, I did state that a correction for crypto is probably on the horizon after one more high. And it does look like right now, at the time of recording, Bitcoin and Ethereum are attempting that one more high right now. The next time that Ethereum does have a correction, the weekly moving averages should provide us with another optimal entry point, because as we've spoken about on this channel time and time again, moving averages often serve as liquidity points for potential reversals. Just a quick reminder of the longer term targets, the long term targets at $4,600 and $14,000 have not changed. Just some quick pitchfork geometry, the next potential local top for Ethereum will probably be at the pink median line of the pitchfork and the green 0.25 Fibonacci level of the pitchfork, which is anywhere between $2,200 and $2,400. These are shorter term targets. As you can see, the pink median line of the pitchfork and the green 0.25 Fibonacci level have given Ethereum a lot of trouble over the past year as resistance trend lines. Personally, for me, I'm not taking profits or selling Ethereum, even if Ethereum tests the $2,200 to $2,400 region, because I think Ethereum is going much, much higher. But as stated in yesterday's video, I do understand the popularity with short-term trading today. Okay, moving into the Elliott Wave count, as we spoke about in yesterday's Bitcoin video, I'm in favor of one more high in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. The target for wave five of our initial impulse off the October lows spans between the cluster of Fibonacci levels around $2,300 and $2,500, which is in line with the pitchfork targets I just gave a few minutes ago. So that's the short-term Elliott Wave count. In the long-term Elliott Wave count, obviously as stated in the beginning of this YouTube channel, we're targeting a Wave 3 extension northwards of $4,600, which will hit at some point eventually. Okay, shifting gears into the Ethereum against Bitcoin valuation. Just a quick recap. A few weeks ago, we talked about the probability of a bullish bounce coming as a result of the weekly RSI hitting the oversold territory with hidden bullish divergence off the key 1.618 Fibonacci extension support level. We also have a weekly bullish engulfing candle on the weekly timeframe, along with weekly hidden bullish divergence on the RSI. On the two-week timeframe, we have a weekly hammer, as well as the same hidden weekly bullish divergence. Moving into the short term, let's get that out of the way. Moving into the short term, as you can see, the Ethereum against Bitcoin valuation is finding support at the golden window and also reclaimed the one-to-one -one trend based FIB extension level. This is all very bullish and I'm continuing to expect massive returns from Ethereum. Closing things off with some regression, just a quick overview. The red region represents Ethereum's overvaluation. The green region represents Ethereum's undervaluation and the white region represents Ethereum's despair region. As we've spoken about time and time again, Whenever Ethereum enters its despair region, it represents a once in a lifetime buying opportunity because every time that Ethereum leaves its despair region, Ethereum has always proceeded to make new all time highs. And this time won't be any different. And as we spoke about in the last few videos, our bull market top projection for Ethereum is at $14,000. So I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here. So one of the super bearish people that I follow posted that the amount of money entering money market funds is at a new all-time high. Now, obviously, if you are someone who is following the herd by putting your money in money market funds, you are doing so because you believe the markets are going to crash and you are looking for a safe haven to put your money in. Just to put into perspective of how stupid that decision was, Bitcoin and Ethereum have now doubled off of its lows. The S&P 500 is less than 10% off from new all-time highs and gold, which is a yellow rock, is almost at new all-time highs as well. Money market securities have been the worst performing asset class in 2023. So big congratulations to the herd for putting their money in the worst asset possible, which is cash. So big congratulations on that one. 
And on that note, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and one more thing before I forget, I wanted to put this piece of news in the Coinbase video, but I forgot. So one of South Korea's largest pension funds ended up purchasing 280,000 Coinbase shares. So according to the article at the price at $98.15 with a 39% profit, South Korea's average buy-in price was roughly at $70.61. So it does look like they bought in at the second LPS of our Wyckoff accumulation schematic.